Rocket League players are some of the most sensitive, passive-aggressive, toxic crybabies you'll ever meet. So it's important that you understand the language the player base likes to use. You see, although the in-game voice chat is all but broken, there are other, uh, quicker ways for a Rocket League player to get their emotions out there for the world to see. Wait, what's that? It looks like one of them is trying to communicate to us right now. Okay, remember when I said the in-game voice chat is broken? That wasn't actually completely true. When I said it was broken, I meant it was ineffective as a communication method between two or more normal players. As a means for angry, brain-dead hate nerds to spew verbal cancer and racial slurs, it's actually running quite smoothly. Yikes. Well, thankfully, this video isn't about voice chat. This video is about quick chat, or more specifically, how to translate the deep meaning behind every single one of these emotionally charged rapid fire statements. Take the infamous, what a save, for instance, a staple for every Rocket League player to whip out in their moment of triumph or defeat. This one has tons of uses and meanings, kind of like the F word. It's versatile. One of the most satisfying situations a Rocket League player can experience is getting what a saved after conceding a goal, then tryharding until they score a goal, and smacking down sweet justice with a what a save of their own. See what I mean about Rocket League players being petty crybabies? It's in our nature. Ask any Rocket League player and they'll have a story about a good what a save exchange. But when it comes to pettiness, nothing beats the type of player that gets mad when you don't compliment them. I used to think this type of player only existed in mythology, until I ran into one. I'm sad to report they are out there. This dude literally scored a basic ass goal and when I didn't say anything, he said, nice shot and thanks. Bro, I'm not gonna nice shot every dribbler of a goal. You're just gonna have to pat your own back if you really need that level of affirmation for every menial thing you do in car soccer. I thought he was joking, but he did it again when I scored. Great pass. He said to himself, thanks. He said again to himself, needless to say on his next, again, basic ass goal, I said, wow, 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 nice shot. Oh my God, wow. See what I mean about Rocket League players being petty? I'm proving my own point with my behavior. But part of it is we just don't have enough quick chats to express ourselves. Our quick chat potential is way underutilized. Just think what we could do with options such as help, oof, bruh, faking, yikes, lag, hold my beer, I let you score. I usually hit those. I'm trash. I'm in this rank not because of my mechanical ability, but because of some game sense and luck. Even a simple yet powerful LOL would be nice. Or how about a no, instead of the joke of a no we have right now. Can you imagine your teammate doing some stupid shit and being able to just say, no. I'd spam the shit out of no. And I'm in this rank not because of mechanical ability, but because of some game sense and luck. But what about quick chats that shouldn't be in the game? I swear I'd be the happiest man alive if Psyonix removed Take the Shot. Nothing good has ever come from Take the Shot. Players that spam Take the Shot are the same kids that think centering means I'm ready to receive a pass instead of, you know, I'm centering. And yes, that's also more common than you think. I'm about to center the ball and I see my teammate say, centering. Jesus Christ, Mr. Dominus, you're not centering. I'm centering. Wow, this is triggering me just from the memories. But God, can you imagine thinking centering means I'm centering my car in the middle of the field? There really is no hope for Rocket League players, I swear. Now we've already covered a fair amount of quick chats, but I still haven't mentioned the one that can really trigger a Rocket League player. It's powerful because it's the worst kind of aggression, passive aggression. It's used by the kind of people that are annoying enough to let you know how they feel, kind of, but are too much of a bitch to use anything other than okay. Okay makes me mad not because of its message, but because if you're the type of person to say okay after your teammate makes a mistake, something that all Rocket League players do, I immediately hate you as a person. Now if you're thinking, damn, I use okay passive aggressively sometimes, does Sunless actually hate me? The answer is yes. I I do. But you shouldn't feel too bad because chances are I probably hate 30 to 40% of you guys watching, at least. Which isn't too bad. It means I like or can at least stand most of you. It's actually really, really good because I hate most people in general, so you guys are really on my good side with those percentages. But the most important thing to remember about quick chats is almost all of them have a deeper meaning than their literal interpretations. For instance, need boost is rarely used to tell your teammate that you need boost. Instead, it's actually used as an umbrella excuse for utter failure. If you make a terrible attempt at a save and feel the need to say need boost, are are you really even saving face there? Like, no shit, you didn't have boost. You didn't even come close to putting your pathetic body in between the ball and the goal. I don't think you just didn't feel like getting there. I know you didn't have boost. You didn't have boost because you wasted your boost to get back into position, which you were out of because you went to go get boost. Might as well just say sorry. Not too much though. My God, the serial sorry and my bad players need to take a look in the mirror and just become okay with who they are. I mean, grow some balls and stand up for yourself. In silence, you know, like a, like a strong, resolute quietness. Because there's a strength in just not saying anything at all. That's what I'm opting for these days. Don't skip the replay. Don't type. Nothing. Just let everyone wallow in their misery. Sometimes silence can be deafening. Sometimes silence can say, you shouldn't have went for that boost, bitch. 
Silence can be pretty rude like that. See, it's a balance. You don't want to be too rude, but you don't want to be an annoying pushover. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of look down on people that have team chat only on. Not because I don't appreciate the secrecy of complimenting me behind everyone's back, it's just I don't want to respond to seem like a crazy person in front of the other people that haven't seen your initial compliment. If I scored and you say nice shot in team chat and I said thanks in public chat, it looks like I'm the guy I talked about earlier who was talking to himself. So again, in these situations, I just opt for silence. As you can see, I'm a big proponent of not saying anything at all. I'm also a big proponent of overanalyzing things that don't matter to most people, like quick chats. You see, when you're addicted to Rocket League as I am, these are the kinds of things that keep you up at night. Like, damn, did I really just make a video on quick chats in Rocket League? It's even worse for you. You just watched a video on quick chats in Rocket League. I'm not the loser. You're the loser. Dear Diary, today I called everyone who watched my video a loser. In my next video, I will try to butter them up again so they keep watching my channel and don't realize that all my videos are pointless. We live to see another day. One more game.